The first moment that I used GPT-4, I knew something was different. This might make me sound old, but it felt the same as when the very first smartphone was released. When that happened, there was a rapid and irreversible integration of technology into our daily lives. We call it the pinch, and so I can just move them further apart and stretch the image. I can probably count on a single hand just the amount of days that I've spent without a cell phone since. Even worse, I feel almost incomplete as a person when my phone isn't on me. AI systems like ChatGPT are the new smartphones, the new internet, the new electricity, if you wanna go all the way back. I think that we'll look back in five years and not remember how we ever functioned without this technology. In my last video, I talked about how GPT-4 has completely changed how I personally code. This happened over the course of essentially only two weeks. In fact, ChatGPT was down the other day and I felt completely lost. I felt like I just forgot my last nine years of coding experience. This new technology made my work so much easier in less than a month that the additional work to do just essentially what I was doing before almost didn't seem worth it. With this new technology, it feels like there are two choices. First, you can do nothing, you can avoid it. You can pick up trade skills that are hedged against AI in some way. I think we're still a ways out from AI growing our food, building our furniture, and fixing our pipes. Or second, you can fully embrace this technology and try to upskill to be able to leverage it into your existing career or one of the hopefully many new ones that are created as a result of this innovation. While I'm currently looking at buying a farm, you know, just in case, I've personally chosen the second option. This technology is out of the box already. No one's putting it back in, regardless of how many people are signing petitions or tweeting angry things about the pace of innovation. I view this technology as a scenario where we must adapt to survive or else face, in some sense, an extinction. That might be a bit extreme, but in my own work, I just don't see how people not using these technologies keep up with those that are. A huge number of data scientists, engineers, and content creators have already started using these technologies to facilitate and augment their work. I've talked in past videos about how this is saving me upwards of four to five hours per week. It's probably more than that now. How could people without these tools manage to keep up at all? And it's not that the tools are just doing the work for them. They're allowing these people to fast track through the mundane aspects of their work. The tools are allowing them to operate at peak efficiency at all times. Let's dive into the coding example a little bit. At least for me, before the AI tools, I'd spend about half my time writing and debugging code and the other half thinking critically about what I needed to build. With these tools, I can spend closer to 90% of the time thinking critically about what I need to build and the build process, and only 10% of the time writing and debugging code. That dramatically speeds up my process and in theory makes it better as well. Realistically, the majority of the code I write isn't overly complex. I can essentially automate the simple stuff and ramp up the parts where my unique knowledge adds value to my work. I'm working at, again, this unprecedented efficiency. And soon, maybe these AIs can help me do a better job of imparting this more unique knowledge. Or maybe that unique knowledge just goes by the wayside and AI rules it all. While I like this increased productivity, I don't like the fact that it's almost forced upon me. As I mentioned before, I think that if people don't adapt to tools like this, they might not be competitive with others in the marketplace. Even though I feel like it's forced on me, in some cases, it might not be worth fighting it. So Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI, predicts that there will be new, higher quality jobs that come out of this boom. If you become a super user of some of these tools and you really understand them, you might be able to create career opportunities that you hadn't dreamt of before, that didn't even exist before. There will likely be new, high paying jobs that don't exist right now. I recently heard whispers of a prompt engineer that's paying over $300,000 a year. While there might be some opportunity, there are a couple of colossal problems this technology presents on global and on individual levels. The first being inequality. At least right now for GPT-4, there's a price and accessibility wall. This means that there's unequal access and opportunity for people to use these tools. It scares me that there will be haves and have nots of AI. Not because they choose not to use it, but because of lack of access to the tooling. It appears like there are some good options for open sourcing these tools, but those also come with their unique set of problems that are potentially just as scary. You know, we're talking about these tools in the hands of bad actors. The other massive fear I have is that our brains just won't be able to keep up with the pace of new technology. Some older generations, including my parents, can barely manage to turn on a computer, let alone a smartphone. How are they supposed to understand the implications of integrating with AI? Right now, I can barely tell if a video or an ad is authentic. What are we supposed to do when people are using open source AI systems to create fabricated news that includes photo and video that are indistinguishable from reality. My own brain can't keep up with the pace of social media. I get caught in loops scrolling Instagram and other apps, 
And the technology is just so good at rewarding my brain for using these platforms, I simply can't stop. I can't help but to think that these tools are just getting really good at hacking some reward system that's evolved hundreds of thousands of years ago. And that system was probably meant to encourage some form of evolution, not mindless scrolling. What happens when even better forms of AI now target the same reward center with more specificity, with more nuance, with more addiction? I simply don't think our brains are equipped to handle the speed at which this technology is advancing. And I think this will be a huge challenge for us going forward. At this rate, I'm speculating that technology itself, maybe even AI, might be the only answer to this problem. To be clear, this video isn't meant to instill a rational fear. This conversation is just my honest opinion on a lot of AI stuff that's happening really fast right now. I'm doing this because it feels like we're rapidly approaching a pivot point, and I think it's responsible that everyone, one, learns about these new AI technologies, two, develops an understanding about how you personally feel about them, and three, makes a plan for either using them or not using them before they're essentially forced on us. It hurts my pride, but I do feel like this is one of those, if you can't beat them, join them scenarios. I've personally decided to join them. You're free to make your own decisions on this matter, of course.